Hello guys, welcome to NUSK. Professor Misty is here today to teach you things. Hashtag news you should know. You're watching Misty Kingma. I'm revealing to the world what Adele and Lindsay Lohan have in common. Number one, they both hate their fathers. It is no secret that Michael Lohan, Lindsay's dad, has always tried to capitalize on her success by even appearing on reality shows himself and selling stories to the media. I mean, come on, that's bad. But Adele, on the other hand, just revealed in an interview to Vogue that she hasn't spoken to her father in 10 years. And if she did see him, she would, quote, spit in his face. She said that he recently sold a story to Sun Magazine in London saying that her relationship problems that she sings about in her songs that we all love is due to him because he was absent as a father. Giving himself credit for Adele's awesome songs, she is a not having that. She actually went ballistic when she found out. Number two, Adele and Lindsay both made awesome songs about rumors. They're totally destined to be best friends, right? Now, in the realm of things that you're going to be hearing about whether you like it or not, there's a new social networking site in town called Pinterest, and if you haven't heard of it yet, then I'm sort of surprised. People are calling it crack for women. There's a lot of buzz happening right now for Pinterest, and what you're gonna start seeing next to those Facebook like buttons on websites is a repin icon asking if you wanna repin stuff to your Pinterest profile. Now how Pinterest works, it's basically like a digital bulletin board where you can pin your favorite photos to different bulletin boards on your page. Basically different bulletin boards are different categories. And traditionally, it's been a lot of girls using this site to post bridal gowns and fashion. But okay, Star Wars geeks are now getting on board. There's now political breaking news that's happening on Pinterest. And even car freaks are posting their favorite cars on Pinterest. So anyone can do it. And as of January 2012, they had 11 million accounts open. So that's actually pretty big, I think. I've been on Pinterest for a while because one of my friends told me about it like last year and I actually really like the site. I love looking at photos and the quality is good. It's definitely like a higher caliber social networking site. I feel like it's for young professionals. Those 25 to 35 year olds are just loving Pinterest. And it's highly addictive, I swear. Last in sad economy news, the Kodak Theater is taking their name off the iconic theater. It is currently home to Eris, which is a Cirque du Soleil show that was made just for the Kodak Theater. Now the theater is not going away, it's just gonna have a different name, but we don't know whose name that is. And also you might have heard of the Kodak Theater because every year the Oscars are there, which is probably the biggest event in Hollywood every year. I mean, they call it Hollywood's prom. So we don't know what name's gonna be on it yet, maybe Facebook? But basically, they can't afford their $74 million contract anymore because Kodak, the film company, has filed for bankruptcy. Again, really sad. But I guess we'll have to wait and see whose name takes over. By the way, don't forget to watch the Oscars this Sunday, February 26th on ABC. Professor Misty signing off for now. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. This collar is really big.